Xeon, Xeon is a brand of x86 microprocessors designed, manufactured, and marketed by Intel, targeted at the non-consumer workstation, server, and embedded system markets. It was introduced in June 1998. Xeon processors are based on the same architecture as regular desktop-grade CPUs, but have some advanced features such as support for ECC memory, higher core counts, support for larger amounts of RAM, larger cache memory and extra provision for enterprise-grade reliability, availability and serviceability features responsible for handling hardware exceptions through the machine check architecture. They are often capable of safely continuing execution where a normal processor cannot, due to these extra RAS features, depending on the type and severity of the machine check exception. Some also support multi-socket systems with two, four, or eight sockets through use of the Quick Path Interconnect bus. Some shortcomings that make Xeon processors unsuitable for most consumer-grade desktop PCs include lower clock rates at the same price point since servers run more tasks in parallel than desktops, core counts are more important than clock rates, usually an absence of an integrated GPU, and lack of support for overclocking. Despite such disadvantages, Xeon processors have always had popularity among desktop users, primarily gamers, and extreme users, mainly due to higher core count potential, and higher performance to price ratio versus the Core i7 in terms of total computing power of all cores. Most Intel Xeon CPUs lack an integrated GPU, systems built with those processors require a discrete graphics card or a separate GPU if computer monitor output is desired. Intel Xeon is a distinct product line from the similarly named Intel Xeon Phi. The first generation Xeon Phi is a completely different type of device more comparable to a graphics card, it is designed for a PCI Express slot and is meant to be used as a multi-core coprocessor, like the NVIDIA Tesla. In the second generation, Xeon Phi evolved into a main processor more similar to the Xeon. It conforms to the same socket as a Xeon processor and is x86 compatible, however, as compared to Xeon, the design point of the Xeon Phi emphasizes more cores with higher memory bandwidth. <laughs> <laughs> Overview The Xeon brand has been maintained over several generations of IA32 and x86-64 processors. Older models added the Xeon moniker to the end of the name of their corresponding desktop processor, but more recent models used the name Xeon on its own. The Xeon CPUs generally have more cache than their desktop counterparts in addition to multiprocessing capabilities. Topic. P6-based Xeon Topic. Pentium 2 Xeon The first Xeon-branded processor was the Pentium 2 Xeon, codenamed Drake. It was released in 1998, replacing the Pentium Pro in Intel's server lineup. The Pentium 2 Xeon was a to shoots Pentium 2 and shared the same product code 80523 with a full speed 512 kilobytes 1 megabyte or 2 megabytes L2 cache The L2 cache was implemented with custom 512 kilobytes SRAMs developed by Intel The number of SRAMs depended on the amount of cache a 512 kilobytes configuration required one SRAM, a 1 megabyte configuration, two SRAMs, and a 2 megabytes configuration, four SRAMs on both sides of the PCB. Each SRAM was a 12.90 mm by 17.23 mm (222.21 square millimeters) die fabricated in a 0.35 micrometers four-layer metal CMOS process and packaged in a cavity down wire bonded land grid array (LGA). The additional cache required a larger module, and thus the Pentium 2 Xeon used a larger slot, slot 2. It was supported by the 440GX dual processor workstation chipset and the 450NX quad or octo processor chipset. Topic: Pentium 3 Xeon. 
In 1999, the Pentium 2 Xeon was replaced by the Pentium 3 Xeon. Reflecting the incremental changes from the Pentium 2 Deschutes core to the Pentium 3 Katmai core, the first Pentium 3 Xeon, named Tana, was just like its predecessor except for the addition of streaming SIMD extensions SSE and a few cache controller improvements. The product codes for Tana mirrored that of Katmai, 80525. The second version, named Cascades, was based on the Pentium 3 Coppermine core. The Cascades Xeon used a 133 MHz bus and relatively small 256 KB on dial 2 cache resulting in almost the same capabilities as the slot 1 Coppermine processors, which were capable of dual processor operation but not quad processor operation. To improve this situation, Intel released another version, officially also named Cascades, but often referred to as Cascades 2 MB. That came in two variants, with 1 MB or 2 MB of L2 cache. Its bus speed was fixed at 100 MHz, though in practice the cache was able to offset this. The product code for Cascades mirrored that of Coppermine, 80526. <laughs> Netburst-based Xeon Topic Xeon DP and Xeon MP 32 bit Topic Foster In mid 2001 the Xeon brand was introduced Pentium was dropped from the name the initial variant that used the new netburst microarchitecture Foster was slightly different from the desktop Pentium 4 Willamette it was a decent chip for workstations, but for server applications it was almost always outperformed by the older Cascades cores with a 2 MB L2 cache and AMD's Athlon MP. Combined with the need to use expensive Rambus Dynamic RAM, the Foster's sales were somewhat unimpressive. At most two Foster processors could be accommodated in a symmetric multiprocessing SMP system built with a mainstream chipset, so a second version Foster MP was introduced with a 1 MB L3 cache and the Jackson Hyper threading capacity. This improved performance slightly, but not enough to lift it out of third place. It was also priced much higher than the dual processor DP versions. The Foster shared the 80528 product code with Willamette. Topic: <laughs> Prestonia. In 2002, Intel released a 130 nanometers version of Xeon branded CPU codenamed Prestonia. It supported Intel's new hyper-threading technology and had a 512 kilobytes L2 cache. This was based on the Northwood Pentium 4 core. A new server chipset, E7500, which allowed the use of dual-channel DDRS-DRAM, was released to support this processor in servers, and soon the bus speed was boosted to 533 MT-S accompanied by new chipsets, the E7501 for servers and the E7505 for workstations. The Prestonia performed much better than its predecessor and noticeably better than Athlon MP. The support of new features in the E75XX series also gave it a key advantage over the Pentium 3 Xeon and Athlon MP branded CPUs both stuck with rather old chipsets, and it quickly became the top-selling server, workstation processor. <laughs> Gallatin Subsequent to the Prestonia was the Gallatin, which had an L3 cache of 1 MB or 2 MB. Its Xeon MP version also performed much better than the Foster MP, and was popular in servers. Later experience with the 130 nm process allowed Intel to create the Xeon MP branded Gallatin with 4 MB cache. The Xeon branded Prestonia and Gallatin were designated 80532, like Northwood.
Topic Xeon DP and Xeon MP 64 bit. Topic Nokona and Irwindale. Due to a lack of success with Intel's Itanium and Itanium II processors, AMD was able to introduce x86-64, a 64-bit extension to the x86 architecture. Intel followed suit by including Intel 64, formerly EM64T. It is almost identical to AMD 64 in the 90 nanometers version of the Pentium 4 Prescott and a Xeon version codenamed Nokona. With 1 MB L2 cache was released in 2004. Released with it were the E7525 workstation, E7520 and E7320 both server chipsets, which added support for PCI Express, DDR2 and Serial ARTA. The Xeon was noticeably slower than AMD's Opteron, although it could be faster in situations where hyper-threading came into play. A slightly updated core called Irwindale was released in early 2005, with 2 MB L2 cache and the ability to have its clock speed reduced during low processor demand. Although it was a bit more competitive than the Nokona had been, independent tests showed that AMD's Opteron still outperformed Irwindale. Both of these Prescott-derived Xeons have the product code 80546. Topic. Cranford and Potomac 64-bit Xeon MPs were introduced in April 2005. The cheaper Cranford was an MP version of Nokona, while the more expensive Potomac was a Cranford with 8 MB of L3 cache. Like Nokona and Irwindale, they also have product code 80546. Topic. Dual core Xeon Topic. Paxville DP The first dual core CPU branded Xeon, codenamed Paxville DP, product code 80551, was released by Intel on October 10, 2005. Paxville DP had netburst microarchitecture, and was a dual-core equivalent of the single-core Irwindale related to the Pentium D-branded Smithfield, with 4 MB of L2 cache 2 MB per core. The only Paxville DP model released ran at 2.8 GHz, featured an 800 MT, S front side bus, and was produced using a 90 nanometers process. Topic 7000 series Paxville MP An MP capable version of Paxville DP codenamed Paxville MP product code 80560 was released on November 1, 2005 There are two versions one with 2 megabytes of L2 cache 1 megabyte per core and one with 4 megabytes of L2 2 megabytes per core Paxville MP, called the Dual Core Xeon 7000 series, was produced using a 90 nanometers process. Paxville MP clock ranges between 2.67 GHz and 3.0 GHz model numbers 7020-7041, with some models having a 667 MT, SFSB, and others having an 800 MT, SFSB. Topic. 7100 series, Tulsa Released on August 29, 2006, the 7100 series, codenamed Tulsa product code 80550, is an improved version of Paxville MP, built on a 65 nanometers process, with 2 MB of L2 cache 1 MB per core and up to 16 MB of L3 cache. It uses socket 604. Tulsa was released in two lines, the N line uses a 667 MT, SFSB, and the M line uses an 800 MT, SFSB. 
The N line ranges from 2.5 GHz to 3.5 GHz, model numbers 7110N, 7150N, and the M line ranges from 2.6 GHz to 3.4 GHz, model numbers 7110M, 7140M. L3 cache ranges from 4 MB to 16 MB across the models. Topic. 5000 series Dempsey On May 23, 2006, Intel released the dual core CPU Xeon branded 5000 series codename Dempsey product code 80555 Released as the dual core Xeon 5000 series, Dempsey is a netburst microarchitecture processor produced using a 65 nanometers process and is virtually identical to Intel's Presla Pentium Extreme edition except for the addition of SMP support, which lets Dempsey operate in dual processor systems. Dempsey ranges between 2.50 GHz and 3.73 GHz, model numbers 5020-5080. Some models have a 667MT, SFSB, and others have a 1066MT, SFSB. Dempsey has 4 MB of L2 cache 2 MB per core. A medium voltage model, at 3.2 GHz and 1066 MT, SFSB model number 5063, has also been released. Dempsey also introduces a new interface for Xeon processors, LGA-771, also known as Socket J. Dempsey was the first Xeon core in a long time to be somewhat competitive with its Opteron base counterparts, although it could not claim a decisive lead in any performance metric, that would have to wait for its successor, the Woodcrest. Topic. Pentium M Yona based Xeon. Topic LV ULV Sossaman. On March 14, 2006, Intel released a dual-core processor codenamed Sossaman and branded as Xeon LV (low voltage). Subsequently, an ULV (ultra low voltage) version was released. The Sossaman was a low, ultra low power and double processor capable CPU like AMD Quad FX, based on the Yona. Processor, for ultra-dense non-consumer environment i.e., targeted at the blade server and embedded markets, and was rated at a thermal design power TDP of 31W LV, 1.66 GHz, 2 GHz and 2.16 GHz and 15W ULV, 1.66 GHz. As such, it supported most of the same features as earlier Xeons, virtualization technology, 667 MT, S front side bus, and dual core processing, but did not support 64-bit operations, so it could not run 64-bit server software, such as Microsoft Exchange Server 2007, and therefore was limited to 16 GB of memory. A planned successor, codenamed Merum MP was to be a drop-in upgrade to enable Sossaman-based servers to upgrade to 64-bit capability. However, this was abandoned in favor of low-voltage versions of the Woodcrest LV processor leaving the Sossaman at a dead end with no upgrade path. Topic. Core-based Xeon Topic Dual Core. Topic Three Thousand Series Conroe. The Three Thousand Series, codenamed Conroe, product code eight zero five five seven, Dual Core Xeon branded CPU, released at the end of September two thousand and six, was the first Xeon for single CPU operation. The same processor is branded as Core 2 Duo or as Pentium Dual Core and Celeron, with varying features disabled. 
They use LGA 775 socket T, operate on a 1066 MHz front side bus, support enhanced Intel Speedstep technology and Intel virtualization technology but do not support hyperthreading. Conroe processors with a number ending in 5 have a 1333MT, SFSB. Models marked with a star are not present in Intel's database. Topic 3100 series Wolfdale. The 3100 series, codenamed Wolfdale, product code 80570, dual core Xeon branded CPU, was just a rebranded version of the Intel's mainstream Core 2 Duo E7000, E8000, and Pentium dual core E5000 processors, featuring the same 45 nanometers process and 6 megabytes of L2 cache. Unlike most Xeon processors, they only support single CPU operation. They use LGA 775 socket T, operate on a 1,333 MHz front side bus, support enhanced Intel Speedstep technology and Intel virtualization technology, but do not support hyperthreading. Topic 5100 series Woodcrest. On June 26, 2006, Intel released the dual core CPU Xeon branded 5100 series codenamed Woodcrest product code 80556. It was the first Intel Core microarchitecture processor to be launched on the market. It is a server and workstation version of the Intel Core 2 processor. Intel claims that it provides an 80% boost in performance, while reducing power consumption by 20% relative to the Pentium D. Most models have a 1333 MT, SFSB, except for the 5110 and 5120, which have a 1066 MT, SFSB. The fastest processor 5160 operates at 3.0 GHz. All Woodcrests use LGA 771 and all except two models have a TDP of 65W. The 5160 has a TDP of 80W and the 5148LV has a TDP of 40W. The previous generation Xeons had a TDP of 130W. All models support Intel 64, Intel's x86-64 implementation, the XD bit, and virtualization tech technology, with the demand-based switching power management option only on dual-core Xeon 5140 or above. Woodcrest has 4 MB of shared L2 cache. <laughs> Topic. 5200 series. Wolfdale DP. On November 11, 2007, Intel released the dual core CPU Xeon branded 5200 series, codenamed Wolfdale DP, product code 80573. It is built on a 45 nanometers process like the desktop core 2 Duo and Xeon SP Wolfdale, featuring Intel 64, Intel's x86-64 implementation, the XD bit, and virtualization technology. It is unclear whether the demand-based switching power management is available on the L5238. Wolfdale has 6 MB of shared L2 cache. Topic. 7200 series. Tigerton. The 7200 series, codenamed Tigerton product code 80564, is an MP-capable processor, similar to the 7300 series, but, in contrast, only one core is active on each silicon chip and the other one is disabled, resulting in a dual-core processor. <laughs> Quad-core and multi-core Xeon Topic 3200 series Kentsfield. 
Intel released relabeled versions of its quad core 2 2 core 2 quad processor as the Xeon 3200 series product code 80562 on January 7, 2007. The 2 2 quad core dual die dual core comprised two separate dual core die next to each other in one CPU package. The models are the X3210, X3220 and X3230, running at 2.13 GHz, 2.4 GHz and 2.66 GHz, respectively. Like the 3000 series, these models only support single CPU operation and operate on a 1066 MHz frontside bus. It is targeted at the Blade market. The X3220 is also branded and sold as Core 2 Quad Q6600, the X3230 as Q6700. Topic: 3300 series. Yorkfield Intel released relabeled versions of its quad core core 2 quad Yorkfield Q9400 and Q9X50 processors as the Xeon 3300 series product code 80569. This processor comprises two separate dual core dies next to each other in one CPU package and manufactured in a 45 nanometers process. The models are the X3320, X3350, X3360, X3370 and X3380, running at 2.50 GHz, 2.66 GHz, 2.83 GHz, 3.0 GHz, and 3.16 GHz, respectively. The L2 cache is a unified 6 MB per die except for the X3320 with a smaller 3 MB L2 cache per die, and a front side bus of 1,333 MHz. All models feature Intel 64 Intel's X86-64 implementation, the XD bit, and virtualization technology, as well as demand-based switching. The Yorkfield CL product code 80584 variant of these processors are X3323, X3353 and X3363. They have a reduced TDP of 80W and are made for single CPU LGA 771 systems instead of LGA 775, which is used in all other Yorkfield processors. In all other respects, they are identical to their Yorkfield counterparts. Topic 5300 series Clovertown A quad core 2 times 2 successor of the Woodcrest for DP segment consisting of two dual core Woodcrest chips in one package similarly to the dual core Pentium D branded CPUs two single core chips or the quad core Kentsfield All Clovertowns use the LGA771 package the Clovertown has been usually implemented with two Woodcrest dies on a multi-chip module, with 8 MB of L2 cache 4 MB per die. Like Woodcrest, lower models use a 1066 MT, SFSB, and higher models use a 1333 MT, SFSB. Intel released Clovertown, product code 80563, on November 14, 2006 with models E5310, E5320, E5335, E5345, and X5355, ranging from 1.6 GHz to 2.66 GHz. All models support, MMX, SSE, SSE2, SSE3, SSSE3, Intel 64, XD bit, and NX bit implementation, Intel VT. The E and X designations are borrowed from Intel's Core 2 model numbering scheme, an ending of minus 0 implies a 1066 MT, SFSB, and an ending of minus 5 implies a 1333 MT, SFSB. 
All models have a TDP of 80W with the exception of the X5355, which has a TDP of 120W, and the X5365, which has a TDP of 150W. A low voltage version of Clovertown with a TDP of 50W has a model numbers L5310, L5320, and L5335, 1.6 GHz, 1.86 GHz, and 2.0 GHz, respectively. The 3.0 GHz X5365 arrived in July 2007, and became available in the Apple Mac Pro on April 4, 2007. The X5365 performs up to around 38 gigaflops in the LINPACK benchmark. Topic: 5400 series Harpertown. On November 11, 2007 Intel presented Yorkfield-based Xeons, called Harpertown product code 80574 to the public. 3. This family consists of dual die-quad core CPUs manufactured on a 45 nanometers process and featuring 1066 MHz, 1333 MHz, 1600 MHz front side buses, with TDP rated from 40W to 150W depending on the model. These processors fit in the LGA 771 package. All models feature Intel 64 Intel's x86-64 implementation, the XD bit, and virtualization technology. All except the E5405 and L5408 also feature demand-based switching. The supplementary character in front of the model number represents the thermal rating, an L depicts a TDP of 40W or 50W, an E depicts 80W whereas an X is 120W TDP or above. The speed of 3.00 GHz comes as four models, two models with 80W TDP two other models with 120W TDP with 1,333 MHz or 1,600 MHz front side bus respectively. The fastest Harpertown is the X5492 whose TDP of 150W is higher than those of the Prescott-based Xeon DP but having twice as many cores. The X5482 is also sold under the name Core 2 Extreme QX9775 for use in the Intel Skulltrail system. Intel 1600 MHz front side bus Xeon processors will drop into the Intel 5400 chipset whereas several mainboards featuring the Intel 5000 5200s chipset are enabled to run the processors with a 1333 MHz front side bus speed. Seaberg features support for dual PCIe 2.0 x16 slots and up to 128 GB of memory. Topic: 7300 series Tigerton. The 7300 series, codenamed Tigerton, product code 80565, is a four-socket packaged in socket 604 and more capable quad-core processor, consisting of two dual-core Core 2 architecture silicon chips on a single ceramic module, similar to Intel's Xeon 5300 series Clovertown processor modules. The 7300 series uses Intel's Caneland Clarksboro platform. Intel claims the 7300 series Xeons offer more than twice the performance per watt as Intel's previous generation 7100 series. The 7300 series Caneland chipset provides a point-to-point -point interface allowing the full front side bus bandwidth per processor. The 7XXX series is aimed at the large server market, supporting configurations of up to 32 CPUs per host. Topic: 7400 series Dunnington. 
Dunnington, the last CPU of the Penryn generation and Intel's first multi-core above two die, features a single die six or hexa core design with three unified three megabytes L2 caches resembling three merged 45 nanometers dual core Wolfdale dies and 96 kilobytes L1 cache data and 16 megabytes of L3 cache. It features 1066 MHz FSB, fits into the Tigerton's MPGA 604 socket, and is compatible with both the Intel Caneland and IBM X4 chipsets. These processors support DDR2-1066 533 MHz, and have a maximum TDP below 130 W. They are intended for blades and other stacked computer systems. Availability was scheduled for the second half of 2008. It was followed shortly by the Nehalem microarchitecture. Total transistor count is 1.9 billion, announced on September 15, 2008. <laughs> Nehalem-based Xeon Topic 3400 series Linfield Xeon 3400 series processors based on Linfield fill the gap between the previous 3300 series Yorkfield processors and the newer 3500 series Bloomfield. Like Bloomfield, they are quad-core single-package processors based on the Nehalem microarchitecture, but were introduced almost a year later, in September 2009. The same processors are marketed for mid-range to high-end desktop systems as Core i5 and Core i7. They have two integrated memory channels as well as PCI Express and Direct Media Interface DMI links, but no QuickPath Interconnect QPI interface. Topic 3400 series Clarkdale At low end of the 3400 series is not a Linfield but a Clarkdale processor, which is also used in the Core i3500 and Core i5600 processors as well as the Celeron G1000 and G6000 Pentium series. A single model was released in March 2010, the Xeon L3406. Compared to all other Clarkdale-based products, this one does not support integrated graphics, but has a much lower thermal design power of just 30W compared to the Linfield-based Xeon 3400 models, it only offers two cores. <laughs> <laughs> Topic. 3500 series. Bloomfield. Bloomfield is the codename for the successor to the Xeon Core microarchitecture, is based on the Nehalem microarchitecture and uses the same 45 nanometers manufacturing methods as Intel's Penryn. The first processor released with the Nehalem architecture is the desktop Intel Core i7, which was released in November 2008. This is the server version for single CPU systems. This is a single socket Intel Xeon processor. The performance improvements over previous Xeon processors are based mainly on Integrated memory controller supporting three memory channels of DDR3UDIMM unbuffered or RDIMM registered A new point-to-point -point processor interconnect QuickPath, replacing the legacy front side bus Simultaneous multithreading by multiple cores and hyper-threading two times per core Topic 5500 series Gainstown Gainstown or Nehalem EP, the successor to the Xeon Core microarchitecture, is based on the Nehalem microarchitecture and uses the same 45 nanometers manufacturing methods as Intel's Penryn. The first processor released with the Nehalem microarchitecture is the desktop Intel Core i7, which was released in November 2008. 
Server processors of the Xeon 55XX range were first supplied to testers in December 2008. The performance improvements over previous Xeon processors are based mainly on integrated memory controller supporting three memory channels of DDR3 SDRAM. A new point to point processor interconnect QuickPath, replacing the legacy front side bus. Gainstown has two QuickPath interfaces. Hyper threading two times per core, starting from 5518, that was already present in pre core duo processors. C3500, C5500 series. Jasper Forest Jasper Forest is a Nehalem based embedded processor with PCI Express connections on die, core counts from 1 to 4 cores, and power envelopes from 23 to 85 watts. The Uni processor version without QPI comes as LC35XX and EC35XX, while the dual processor version is sold as LC55XX and EC55XX and uses QPI for communication between the processors. Both versions use a DMI link to communicate with the 3420 that is also used in the 3400 series Linfield Xeon processors, but use an LGA1366 package that is otherwise used for processors with QPI but no DMI or PCI Express links. The CPU ID code of both Linfield and Jasper Forest is 106X, i.e., Family 6, Model 30. The Celeron P1053 belongs into the same family as the LC35XX series, but lacks some RAS features that are present in the Xeon version. Topic 3600 and 5600s series Gulftown and Westmere EP Gulftown or Westmere EP, a 6-core 32 nanometers architecture Westmere-based processor, is the basis for the Xeon 36XX and 56XX series and the Core i7-980X. It launched in the first quarter of 2010. The 36XX series follows the 35XX series Bloomfield Uni processor model while the 56XX series follows the 55XX series Gainstown dual processor model and both are socket compatible to their predecessors. Topic: 6500 and series Beckton Becton or Nehalem X expandable server market is a Nehalem-based processor with up to 8 cores and uses buffering inside the chipset to support up to 16 standard DDR3 DIMMs per CPU socket without requiring the use of FB DIMMs. Unlike all previous Xeon MP processors, Nehalem X uses the new LGA1567 package, replacing the socket 604 used in the previous models, up to Xeon 7400. Dunnington. The 75XX models have four QuickPath interfaces, so it can be used in up to eight socket configurations, while the 65XX models are only for up to two sockets. Designed by the Digital Enterprise Group DAG, Santa Clara and Hudson design teams, Becton is manufactured on the P1266 technology. Its launch in March 2010 coincided with that of its direct competitor, AMD's Opteron 6XXX. Magni cores. Most models limit the number of cores and QPI links as well as the L3 cache size in order to get a broader range of products out of the single chip design. Topic: <laughs> E7X8XX series. Westmere X. Westmere X is the follow-on to Becton, Nehalem X and the first Intel chip to have 10 CPU cores. The microarchitecture is the same as in the 6-core Gulftown, Westmere EP processor, but it uses the LGA1567 package like Becton to support up to 8 sockets. Starting with Westmere X, the naming scheme has changed once again, with E74X. Now signifying the high-end line of Xeon processors using a package that supports larger than two CPU configurations, formerly the 7XXX series. 
Similarly, the 3XXX Uniprocessor and 5XXX Dual Processor series turned into E34X and E54X, respectively, for later processors. <laughs> Sandy Bridge and Ivy Bridge-based Xeon Topic E three twelve XX series Sandy Bridge The Xeon E three twelve XX line of processors, introduced in April twenty eleven, uses the Sandy Bridge chips that are also the base for the core I three, I five, I seven two XXX and Celeron Pentium GXXX products using the same LGA eleven fifty five socket, but with a different set of features disabled. Notably, the Xeon variants include support for ECC memory, VTD and trusted execution that are not present on the consumer models, while only some Xeon E3 enable the integrated GPU that is present on Sandy Bridge. Like its Xeon 3400 series predecessors, the Xeon E3 only supports operation with a single CPU socket and is targeted at entry-level workstations and servers. The CPU ID of this processor is 0206A7H, the product code is 80623. Topic: E312XXV2 series, IV bridge. Xeon E312XXV2 is a minor update of the Sandy Bridge-based E312XX, using the 22 nanometers shrink, and providing slightly better performance while remaining backwards compatible. They were released in May 2012 and mirror the desktop core i3, i5, i73XXX parts. E514XX, 24XX series, Sandy Bridge N, and E516XX, 26XX, 46XX series, Sandy Bridge EP. The Xeon E516XX processors follow the previous Xeon 3500 and 3600 series products as the high-end single socket platform, using the LGA 2011 package introduced with this processor. They share the Sandy Bridge E platform with the single socket core i738XX and i739XX processors. The CPU chips have no integrated GPU but eight CPU cores, some of which are disabled in the entry-level products. The Xeon E526XX line has the same features but also enables multi-socket operation like the earlier Xeon 5000 series and Xeon 7000 series processors. Topic. E514XX V2 24XX V2 series, IV Bridge N, and E516XX V2 26XX V2 46XX V2 series, IV Bridge EP. The Xeon E5 V2 line was an update, released in September 2013 to replace the original Xeon E5 processors with a variant based on the Ivy Bridge shrink. The maximum number of CPU cores was raised to 12 per processor module and the total L3 cache was up to 30 MB. The consumer version of the Xeon E516XX V2 processor is the Core i748XX and 49XX. Topic E seven twenty eight XX V two forty eight XX V two eighty eight XX V two series IV Bridge X. The Xeon E seven V two line was an update released in February twenty fourteen to replace the original Xeon E seven processors with a variant based on the IV Bridge shrink. There was no Sandy Bridge version of these processors. Topic. Haswell based Xeon Topic. 
E312XX V3 series. Haswell WS Introduced in May 2013, Xeon E312XX V3 is the first Xeon series based on the Haswell microarchitecture. It uses the new LGA1150 socket, which was introduced with the desktop core i5, i7 Haswell processors, incompatible with the LGA1155 that was used in Xeon E3 and E3V2. As before, the main difference between the desktop and server versions is added support for ECC memory in the Xeon branded parts. The main benefit of the new microarchitecture is better power efficiency. Topic: <laughs> E516XX26XX V3 series. Haswell EP Introduced in September 2014, Xeon E516XX V3 and Xeon E526XX V3 series use the new LGA2011 V3 socket, which is incompatible with the LGA2011 socket used by earlier Xeon E5 and E5 V2 generations based on Sandy Bridge and Ivy Bridge microarchitectures. Some of the main benefits of this generation, compared to the previous one, are improved power efficiency, higher core counts, and bigger last-level caches LLCs. Following the already used nomenclature, Xeon E526XXV3 V3 series allows dual socket operation. One of the new features of this generation is that Xeon E5 V3 models with more than 10 cores support cluster on die COD operation mode, allowing CPUs multiple columns of cores and LLC slices to be logically divided into what is presented as two non-uniform memory access NUMA CPUs to the operating system. By keeping data and instructions local to the partition, of CPU which is processing them, thus decreasing the LLC access latency, COD brings performance improvements to NUMA-aware operating systems and applications. <laughs> E748XX, 88XX V3 series. Haswell X Introduced in May 2015, Xeon E748XX V3 and Xeon E788XX V3 series provide higher core counts, higher per core performance and improved reliability features, compared to the previous Xeon E7 V2 generation. Following the usual SKU nomenclature, Xeon E748XX V3 and E788XX V3 series allow multi-socket operation, supporting up to quad and eight socket configurations, respectively. These processors use the LGA2011 R1 socket, Xeon E748XX V3 and E788XX V3 series contain a quad-channel integrated memory controller IMC, supporting both DDR3 and DDR4 LRDIMM or RDIMM memory modules through the use of Jordan Creek DDR3 or Jordan Creek 2 DDR4 memory buffer chips. Both versions of the memory buffer chip connect to the processor using version 2.0 of the Intel Scalable Memory Interconnect SMI interface, while supporting lockstep memory layouts for improved reliability. Up to four memory buffer chips can be connected to a processor, with up to six DIMM slots supported per each memory buffer chip. Xeon E748XX V3 and E788XX V3 series also contain functional bug free support for transactional synchronization extensions, TSX, which was disabled via a microcode update in August 2014 for Haswell E, Haswell WS, E312XX V3, and Haswell EP, E516XX. 26XX V3 models, due to a bug that was discovered in the TSX implementation. Topic: <laughs> Broadwell-based Xeon. Topic: <laughs> E312XX V4 series. Broadwell WS. Introduced in June 2015, Xeon E312XX V4 is the first Xeon series based on the Broadwell microarchitecture. 
It uses LGA1150 socket, which was introduced with the desktop core i5, i7 Haswell processors. As before, the main difference between the desktop and server versions is added support for ECC memory in the Xeon branded parts. The main benefit of the new microarchitecture is the new lithography process, which results in better power efficiency. Topic: <laughs> Skylake based Xeon. Topic: <laughs> E312XX V5 series. Skylake WS. Introduced in October 2015, Xeon E312XX V5 is the first Xeon series based on the Skylake microarchitecture. It uses new LGA1151 socket, which was introduced with the desktop core i5, i7 Skylake processors. Although it uses the same socket as consumer processors, it is limited to the C200 server chipset series and will not work with consumer chipsets like Z170. As before, the main difference between the desktop and server versions is added support for ECC memory in the Xeon branded parts. Topic: <laughs> KB Lake based Xeon. Topic: <laughs> E312XX V6 series. Introduced in January 2017, Xeon E312XX V6 is the first Xeon series based on the KB Lake microarchitecture. It uses the same LGA1151 socket, which was introduced with the desktop core i5, i7 Skylake processors. As before, the main difference between the desktop and server versions is added support for ECC memory and improved energy efficiency in the Xeon branded parts. Topic: Supercomputers. By 2013, Xeon processors were ubiquitous in supercomputers. More than 80% of the TOP500 machines in 2013 used them. For the fastest machines, much of the performance comes from compute accelerators. Intel's entry into that market was the Xeon Phi. The first machines using it appeared in June 2012, and by June 2013, it was used in the fastest computer in the world. The first Xeon based machines in the top 10 appeared in November 2002, two clusters at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory and at NOAA. The first Xeon-based machine to be in the first place of the TOP500 was the Chinese Tianhe IA in November 2010, which used a mixed Xeon NVIDIA GPU configuration. It was overtaken by the Japanese K-Computer in 2012, but the TIANHE2 system using 12-core Xeon E52692 processors and Xeon Phi cards occupied the first place in both TOP500 lists of 2013. The SuperMuke system, using 8-core Xeon E52680 processors but no accelerator cards, managed 4th place in June 2012 and had dropped to 10th by November 2013. Xeon processor-based systems are among the top 20 fastest systems by memory bandwidth as measured by the Stream benchmark. An Intel Xeon Virtual SMP system using Scalamp's Versatile SMP VSMP architecture with 128 cores and 1 terabyte RAM. This system aggregates 16 Stokely Platform Seberg chipset systems with total of 32 Harpertown processors. Topic. See also. AMD EPYC AMD Opteron Intel Xeon Phi, brand name for family of products using the Intel Mic architecture List of Intel Xeon microprocessors List of Intel microprocessors